In this lesson, we will discuss how to identify the accidentals in minor scales using the Nandy method. The intervals of the natural minor scale in the order of fourths is shown below. Remember that the natural minor scale is also known as the Aeolian mode, the sixth mode of the major scale. There are a couple of shortcuts we can use to identify sharps and flats in a minor scale without building the entire scale in whole steps and half steps. Before we dig in, we must know the following about the order of sharp and flat notes. In the order of sharp fourths, F sharp comes last. F sharp is then followed by seven natural fourths. In the order of flat fifths, B flat is the last flat. B flat is then followed by seven natural fifths. We'll use our first shortcut to identify sharp notes in the E minor scale. If there are any sharps in this key, the first sharp will appear a major second above the root. F sharp is a major second from the root E. We can stop looking for sharps in this case because we know that F sharp is followed by natural fourths. We can conclude that F sharp is the only accidental note in the E minor scale. A half step above F sharp is G, the root of the relative G major scale. Let's try a different scale, like the F-sharp minor scale. A major second above F-sharp is G-sharp. We must count up in fourths till we arrive at F-sharp as our last sharp. G-sharp, C-sharp, and F-sharp are the three accidentals in F-sharp minor. A half step above G-sharp is A, the root of the relative major scale. Now, let's try the G-sharp minor scale. A major second from G sharp is A sharp. We must count up in fourths till we get to F sharp. The five sharps in this scale are A sharp, D sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. A half step from A sharp is B, the root of the relative major scale. Now that we've seen how to recognize sharps in minor scales, let's use our second shortcut to identify flats in minor scales. Only if we start a major third below the root, the first flat, if one exists in the minor key, will appear right away. From here, we must count up in fifths until we have located all seven notes of the scale. Our first example is the G minor scale. A major third or two whole steps down from root G is E flat. We must count up in fifths till we arrive at our last flat, which is B flat. We can now stop looking at flats since we are aware that the fifths following B flat are all natural fifths. We arrive at E flat and B flat as the only two flats in the G minor scale. The root of the relative major, which is B flat major, is the second note in the order of flat fifths. Let's find the flats in the C minor scale. Two whole steps or a major third down from C is A flat. Counting in fifths, we derive the three flats in C minor, which appear immediately at the beginning of our note pattern. E flat, the second in our order of flat fifths, is the root of the relative major scale. Let's find the flats in the F minor scale. A major third down from F is D flat. Counting up in fifths, we arrive at the four flats in F minor. The second flat in the order of flat fifths is A flat, the root of the relative major scale. There you have it, identifying accidentals in the natural minor scale using the circle of fourths and fifths. We have dozens of tutorials on our YouTube channel that demonstrate how to identify intervals, chords, and scales using the circle of fourths. The links to some of these lessons are provided in the description below. If you are interested in learning how to identify interval patterns on the guitar from every angle, we suggest our book, Guitar Intervals Unleashed. To learn how to identify notes as intervals from each other, we recommend our book, Guitar Notes Unleashed. Strategies to identify and recall major, minor, pentatonic, and blues scales without memorizing shapes are discussed in our book, Guitar Scales Unleashed. Our dry erase Nandy quarter, which displays a pre-printed chart of fourths, is perfect for practicing note and interval identification. Check out our series of interval and scale training apps on the Apple Store and Google Play. 